Hi foodies, welcome back to Cook With Beneath where vegetarian food is made easy. Today we'll be making freak shakes, which are basically milkshakes gone crazy. This idea first started in a cafe in Australia. The entire world just took a liking to this, especially people with the sweet tooth. So if you would like to follow along, please continue watching. For this recipe, you'll need melted chocolate. I'm using white chocolate and milk chocolate, any type of sprinkles, some M&M's, Oreos, ice cream, I'm using French vanilla but you can use any type, 35% whipping cream, your favorite chocolate bar or any type of candy, a jar, and any type of milk. So first we'll prep our jars and you'll take the rim of the jar and just dip it into the melted chocolate and you just want to make sure that this is fresh melted chocolate because you want to have that dripping effect to it. So once I completely soak it into the chocolate, I'm just going to turn it around and I'll just place it into the freezer for about 3-5 to five minutes. For our next jar, I'm just going to dip it into white melted chocolate and dip it into sprinkles and just kind of get it coated on there and I'll also freeze this for about 3-5 to five minutes. Our next jar, um, I'm going to dip it into milk chocolate and you'll notice that it's, a, it's not dripping as fast just because I let it cool down for a little bit. And then I just dipped it into chocolate sprinkles and I'll let that freeze for about 3-5 to five minutes. And our last jar, I'm dipping it into white chocolate. And I'll dip it into another set of sprinkles and just kind of get it on there. Next, we'll be prepping our whipping cream. I'm filling it up halfway because I'm doing four shakes, but if you're only doing one, you probably only need a quarter of that. I am not a baker, so you can use any technique you have. Um, bakers are probably cringing at watching this, but this, is, this works for me, so I'm doing it. You can also add vanilla extract if you want it to have a little bit of a sweet taste to it. So I'm just going to give it a stir and just blend it in one more time. I'm going to put it in a plastic bag and I'll cut the tip of it off once I'm ready to start using it. So we'll start off by making our Oreo shake. So I'm going to take two scoops of ice cream and add milk to it. If you want a really chocolatey flavor, I recommend using chocolate ice cream. And I'll add about four to five Oreo cookies in there. And you just want to blend that all up. And you want to pour it into your jar. Make sure you get the ice cream. And I just placed it into the freezer for about 3-5 to five minutes just because I wanted it to be a little bit colder. And I started filling my jar up with whipping cream. And you can give it a little swirl. And I added an Oreo cookie to garnish. I just broke it in half and I placed it and then I took some crushed Oreos and I put it on top and I also add some black sprinkles. And your shake is ready to drink. Next we'll be making the M&M shake. I added three scoops of ice cream, milk, and my cup of M&Ms. And you want to Blend it until you don't see the M&M's just because when you are drinking it, you don't want to swallow a whole M&M. And then you'll pour it into the jar and just make sure you get all the M&M's from the bottom of the jar. I also froze this one for about 3-5 to five minutes and then I just gave it a quick stir before adding the whipped cream. And for this one, I wanted it to be like fun and um, exciting. Started taking M&Ms and I just placed them everywhere on the whipping cream, but I did it one by one. So it looks a little neat. And then I added my straw before adding the rest of the M&Ms because you don't want them to fall afterwards. And before serving, I'm just going to place it into the freezer for about 3-5 to five minutes just so the M&Ms really stick onto the whipping cream. And 
Next, we'll be making our vanilla ice cream shake. Um, so I'm just adding three scoops of ice cream now, and then I added milk. And then I felt like it wasn't enough ice cream, so I just added one more scoop. And you just want to blend that all up. This is a perfect shake for someone who doesn't like a lot of chocolate, so it's just a simple vanilla shake. So then I just filled up my jar with my shake. Um, so I messed up here and I added a little bit too much of my shake and it would be fine if I was just leaving it like that, but because I'm adding a whole chocolate bar into it, it kind of spills. So it's okay if it does, cause you can always clean up and then just rearrange your whipping cream. And then you can garnish with any of your favorite chocolates. I wanted to do a little bit of a funky look to it. So I added some kisses. And you'll also want to freeze this before you serve it, just because you don't want the kisses to fall off the whipping cream. So I left it into, in the freezer for about two to three minutes. And lastly, we'll be making our Kit Kat shake. So I added three scoops of ice cream, milk, and a whole bar of Kit Kat. And then you'll just blend it up. And then I also put this into the freezer for about three to five minutes just because I wanted it to be like super cold. Once I took it out, I just stirred it and I filled my jar up with whipping cream and I added two of the Kit Kat bars on the side. And then I thought that was too simple. So then I just stuck my dollar chocolates. Fun fact, my nun used to give us this dollar chocolate all the time as kids. So anytime I have it, it just reminds me of her. Our freak shakes are ready to drink, so if you follow this recipe or if you would like a part 2 on this, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you're not following me on socials, it's at cookwithbeneath. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I am more than happy to help. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Take care.